last time we spoke to a promised you a cracker of a low game. No, excuse me. It is 6.35. I'm drinking coffee as I'm doing this uh, voiceover. And, uh, yeah, here is the game with a little bit of commentary over. Ah, coffee. Coffee is the best thing. All right, so, all tier 10 match. I'm actually playing the Zal because uh, of one of the directives. Start 120 fires using cruisers, either Japanese or French line. Been playing the Henri a bit, and I decided let me take the Zao out. Now, strange enough, I checked my Henri captain and my Zao captain with the flags, etc. It looks like the Henri actually has a slightly better fire chance by one or two percent. My Henri captain is only, I think, a 17 pointer, um, whereas my Zao is a 19 point captain. Now, Enemy force detected. only one DD in this match. And I decide, all right, let me head up. See if I can possibly cap C here. Uh, I think my detectability is 10.8 on the Zar with a 19 point captain. And it used to be the captain that I had on my uh, Yamato. Then I got Yamamoto Isokoro, moved him onto the Yamato. And well, when I was doing the Ibuki grind, I finished uh, the captain, got him to 19 points. Um, and now I rotate this captain between the ARP Takao, the Ibuki, and my Azuma. They're all pretty much the same builds, uh, layouts, etc. And uh, yeah, interesting, good ship. Speak uh, of the devil, and he shall appear. There's a Yamato, and it goes the curve first. And at the side, let me see if I can start getting the fires. And immediately, of course, I'm spotted the moment I fire. And immediately, shells start coming in. And the two battleships over there now are shooting at me. Oh, look at that. I lose a torpedo tube. No, I actually don't use the torpedoes that often. Oof, look at that. Nine shell hits in my first fire. Lovely, lovely. You cannot disappear from me. I will find you. Anti-aircraft gun crews um, full alert. Okay, not so much fun. The carrier has decided that I'm you know, his waifu. And uh, I'm trying to dodge. Ten, ten, ten. One of the things is always to try and turn into the torpedoes they've by uh, sometimes you can bump into them before they arm and you don't really bump into them they just you before they arm and they hit you and he comes back with more ouch and i take two torpedo hits luckily they hit like a bitch so now there's my second fire for the day and uh well, it's starting to be starting to be a decent uh, a decent game. Got some back up there, but I notice I'm going to mess up here, and I am going to be surfing on the edge. That's all right. Yeah, Even on penetrations. Now, obviously, they've spotted the rest of my team, which are coming closer to see there, and uh, gives me a time to turn or a chance to turn just before hitting the edge. Now notice I run a spotter plane on this, and that allows the Zao uh, quite a bit of extra range. I think my range uh, standard with my configuration and my setup is 19.1, and then of course this takes it out a little bit more. Shoals take quite a long while to travel over there, but yeah, my toes burn quite well. So, let's see. I need more fires. Concentrate fire on the enemy uh, I also ship. need more coffee. There we go. Another fire on the stern of the Yamata. And um, shooting at the first curve first. Luckily these are thick boys. So uh, if you land in the general vicinity, one or two shells are able to hit. And unlike the Magami and the Ibuki, the uh, Zao only has... Four turrets, three guns per turret. You got 12 shells, but they do hit fairly hard. 
Note, I'm not using AP at all during this match. Um, Zaha's AP is fairly strong, but the purpose of this match wasn't to actually try and do as much damage as possible or anything. I literally just wanted to set as many fires as I could. Yeah, and we are five minutes into this game and I've had three fires already. So the Crossy Kirk first has decided to vacate the area along with the Yamato. Oof. We already lose a Yamato. That's not good. No, it's not good. Now, notice he still hasn't been capped. It's a, it's a fairly interesting match. There's been no cap points. The enemy team's busy capping B, but that's about as much as they can do. <coughs> I spot a Diem uh, no, Moskva, behind an island there, trying to island camp, but he goes dark. I can only get one volley off to him, and only two shells of that volley hits. Bit of a pity. I would have liked more damage on him as well. Come on, come on, stick your nose out. Show. Show me the baby. I want to see the baby. Alright, if you don't get that um, a reference, please watch The Mandalorian. Fantastic, fantastic series. <coughs> Apologies. I'm scanning here for targets. Obviously, with that cross curve and that Yamato around, I can't stick my uh, very fragile hull into C to try and cap. Um, so I'm following this uh, Montana here. He's obviously being shot at because I'm not being spotted. And I notice, ooh, he's one of my favorite players in the game. A destroyer. Luckily, only one destroyer per side, but. If there could be zero destroyers beside, it would be even better. Well, no. I'd like our destroyer to live. But as you can see, there is on a sliver of the health. The two destroyers are duking it out. And our destroyer is about to become an exploding pixel boat. So yeah, our Holland is down. And CV punishes their DD as well. As you can see in that little clip, he went from full health to... Been dead in a matter of seconds. Right, so they've got one cap point, we've got the sudden cap point at A, and uh, now time to move in. So I see this Yamato, uh, this Montana is going to do a strong push, and I decide, okay, well, maybe if I help him, we can make a uh, some sort of a play here. Montana is a good ship. It's it's a little fragile. Depends if he has a legendary module. Uh, I'm still grinding the legendary module on mine, but I'm, I've, I've got no big rush for it. The legendary module I want is for my uh, Yamato. With the um, Sigma improvement and obviously the reload, it'll turn that thing into an absolute monster. So I'm a little bit worried about what's on the left side here. There was quite a few ships behind these mountains. Roger. And I'm spotted. Hello, good sir. How about some HE? Don't set a fire. Turn in slightly. Now, of course, the Zao. Legendary like a lot of the other... Um, the Japanese ship for having a... Citadel that runs along the length of the ship. I swear there's a citadel extending from the bar to the stern some days. It's so easy to citadel these things. But uh, there's another fire. Torpedoes and I see. Oh shit. Whole bunch of torpedoes and then going to smack this Yamato. Oh, there's Montana hard. I keep calling it a Yamato. The CV comes in, obviously. I get another fire. I need to now avoid bumping him because he's in a full turn. But the CV takes him out. The midway takes our Montana out. And I'm, I'm alone in this cap. 
not a good idea for a Zao to be alone in a cap with um, one, two, three, four ships firing at you. There's five targeting me. Okay. Time to bail, time to bail. And I don't remember the Zao's torpedo uh, tubes sit slightly worse than the others. You don't have that rearward facing torpedoes like, uh, for example, the Megami did. So I can't even send torpedoes at that uh, gross surface there. So I do, any second there is opening up on me. Just look at the rainbow. Look at the rainbow. Okay, time to run. Time to run. Um, I'm at seven fires already, so well, at least that's good potential, but this game is not going well. I tried to make a play for it. Uh, just couldn't. I'm on fire. The ship is on fire! I send some torpedoes hoping that he pushes quite aggressively. I don't know, just a bunch of our ships just sitting behind that Problem island. Solved, sir. Really guys? We're up there at sea trying to cap B, checking it out, and you're just sitting here. Now, unfortunately the mistake that the team made is when myself and that Montana pushed, they should have pushed with us. So now they've caught up, they're trying to take B. But the majority of their team has moved, the red team has moved down to B as well. And they can now um, challenge this push quite heavily. All stations, reporting the position of a I like these games though, I like the games that that's not a one-sided slaughter fest. Um, here we have to work for every cap point. The teams are fairly evenly matched as you can see on the points. They got a little bit more points because they had B for a while. Contesting B now. Um, with four to five ships down. Oof, I'm getting low. Now, obviously, everybody hates the Zhao because of its. Uh, it's actually quite a good ship. And because of its fragile hull, everybody wants to shoot at me, so. But, yeah, not going well for me here. I notice this guy just sitting there. This guy's just sitting here. Chilling. <laughs> Weekend players. Spotter airborne. So spotter plane goes up again. And um Time to start raining down some more fire on them. Let's see if I can the thunder and then I lead it into the mountain oh well that's too high up as the guys in that clan spot when you fire into an island you're making swimming pools for the local kids <laughs> yeah let's make swimming pools for the local kids like they're gonna swim in the swimming pool if they've got the sea next to where they live right so the push into B was a spectacular spectacular failure by our team. See this thick boy here on my left. He is uh, not moving forward, but I think he kind of beached himself as well. Um, the Shikishima in the match. Every time he pulls the trigger, I want to look outside the window and see if there's a thunderstorm. Uh, not that I'll ever get the ship, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, remember that Yamato that I was farming early in the match. Uh, he and his friend has decided to come down. And I get another fire on him. Mr. Thunderer has turned around. Good rudder shift on that thing. I mean, it's such a joke. If you take the rudder shift on my uh, Conqueror versus the Kaba. Kaba is a, is a tier 10 destroyer with the rudder shift of what 6.8 and now I got a 6.3 on the thunder they really nerfed the cover into the ground that's that's such a pity so anyway these two are chasing me and I see how we're still equal on ships and if I can keep two battleships busy that's not a bad thing because the more shells they shoot at me the less shells they're shooting at my teammates, and my teammates can possibly catch me. I get another fire there, 
while that fire's burning, go back to the Yamato, see if I can get a fire on him. I'm already at 11 fires, there we go, Witherer. That's... I'll take that. And Mr. Thunderer, did you just damage control that fire? That would be very, very bad of you. Because if you damage control fires, that means I can set a perma fire on you. I see the Yamato is slowly slowing down there. Team's unable to cap, B capitalize, and we've lost another ship. Um, at least I got another fire going there. Now let's see if I can get more fires on the Thunderer. There we go, fire on his uh, bow. A little bit unsure about the next coal ship I should get. Uh, there's a token, I think the token is now 23 or uh, 23 June, 25% discount. Uh, I'm a little bit short on coal. It'll take me another two or three months to gather enough coal for the next uh, coal ship. Might be the the Thunderer. There's not many that I don't have. Either the Thunderer or the Yoshino. Um, and with the Azuma being so, f so fragile, I might go for the Thunderer. And then I can just put uh, my Conqueror's Captain in. Currently running Burt Dunker. Conqueror is, the seems to be well, like, quite well suited. And uh, at this point, we're three ships to their six. This game is a bit of a loss, and not much you can do about it. I'm now doing the typical throttle juking, going forward, going back, making it difficult for them to leave me. And I see that fire is burnt out on the Thunderer. Um, I'm sure his damage control is... Damage control is very close to being uh, back. Nine shells on the Thunderer again. Don't heal up, don't heal up. Give, 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 come on, come on. Ah, dispersion. Oh. And I see Mr. Yamato shooting at me. This is usually not a good thing. Ooh, I really thought I was dead there. Um, there we go. Second kill of the match. And another fire. Ouch. We are only two ships left. This is this is not a good thing. This is really not a good thing. Eight hundred and fifty points to our four hundred. Um, yeah. There's no way we're winning this. There's no way we're winning this. But let's see what can be done. Just maybe he'll aggressively push me. Let's see. If he aggressively pushes me, he might hit that torpedo. Don't think that Yamato is a idiot though. He obviously saw what I was doing. I never know. Maybe, just maybe. And like a total idiot, I uh, knot her straight into the border. And now I've got to turn uh, while border surfing. <sighs> this might be the end of me. No, 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 no. It's actually quite difficult to shoot somebody on the border, I've noticed. Okay. Oh no, they, they're running out just before him. <laughs> oh no, just my luck. Okay, there we go. 15th fire of the match. I'm the last man standing. The uh, FD, our side, the FD Roosevelt. There we go, 16th fire of the match. FD Roosevelt bombed. One of our guys into oblivion there, FD Roosevelt. Because FD Roosevelt's obviously one of those new um, super test carriers along with a Man Manfred from Brickman. And then Mr. Yamato takes revenge for all the fires are set on him and he explodes me. 6,600 XP, 20, no, 224,000 damage top of the team I had two well two one rank purple unicum in my team and still couldn't carry ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed this replay and uh, we'll speak to you soon cheers